Here we are on the main street in Jasper. Yeah, right at the corner, Population there's under 5,000. You know, they're a franchise. Train station. Is there a public tra transportation? There is no bus service up here in Jasper. Hmm. It's a blah 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 gift shop, a blah 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 liquor store, a blah 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 liquor store, yeah. It's an overlook. I guess there's a river down there. We can't see it. But down here, there's a lake. And that's where we're staying, down by that lodge. Well, by the lake, there is a lodge. And way in the distance there is the town of Jasper and the beautiful surrounding mountains. There's a lot of fossils around here. 366 some odd million years ago, this was a large shallow inland sea. And there's some of the fossils. We saw some real nice huge big fossils in a gift shop. Beautiful and peaceful. little rushing water, a little waterfall, and then it evidently is way down below where I can't see. Well, I'll go a little further. It is down there. All these round things are called potholes. Because the water just kind of spins around and erodes the limestone. Jam. Rather noisy. This is the other side of the bridge. Can't see much down there. I do see a bit of ice or snow. That's a hell of a way to go. There's a crow sitting down there and made a nice little protected nest. Not a good place to learn how to fly, though. We're on the upstream side. Water must be down there so far, I can't even... Oh, there it is. See how clear the water is. Evidently, it's quite cold though. Bear sighting is. Bears? Hi, bears. Keep it going, bears. You first. Bye, bears. We'll follow you. Hey, guys. Pretty cool. Jasper Park Lodge is a 442-room hotel sitting on 700 acres in the Jasper National Park. The hotel was established in 1921 
by the Canadian National Railway. Dark brown grizzly bear and one is a more lighter, closer to a white shade of grizzly bear. More sighting bears we saw were yin and yang. Leaving Jasper National Park on the Rocky Mountaineer. Different train, different seats, we're much further back this time. Different overhead lighting, but we still have the beautiful views outside. Around 87 to 90 meters deep. For our American friends, of 283 feet. Yeah. Can we have a this is Moose Lake. Yeah, and an extra cup of flour. Okay, guys. This is the Fraser River. <laughs> We were along it the other day when we went up the Ice Fields Parkway. Now we're going through the same area on a train. This is? That's one of the few places where we've got a view. It's been solid trees. north of the town of McBride and we have made our first unscheduled stop. This is the Fraser River and I see it's flowing north. I think this one empties out into the Arctic Ocean. The reason we're stopped is there's this train, freight train, going the other way. So we're off on the siding so he can go on down the road. He might be two miles long and we're ten cars long so we pull over on a little siding and away he goes the Abo Creek Bridge is 68 meters tall with a span of 280 meters across the Abo Creek Bridge crosses over the Abo Creek Abo is a Chinese name it's kind of close to saying Old Bow. Now, Ah Bo was one of the single most uh, su successful Chinese prospectors that came across the Caribou Wagon Trail and the Caribou Gold Rush. You see... You know, um, the, uh, the river is flowing under. Uh, the bridge is uh, three, over 300 meters, 300 meters, 311 meters. There on the right? And 80 centimeters <laughs> long. If you want to measure that, very fine. There was a deer on the right uh, corner. Right. Let's see here. I don't see any four-legged animals. We arrived in Canel at about 7 o'clock. It's a community of about 25,000 people. It's referred to as Gold Pan City, a reference to the Caribou Gold Rush of the 1860s, when it was the gateway to the gold fields. Next to the train depot is maybe the largest gold pan in the world. No Alaska disputes this, and the main industry today is tourism. Waiting to greet us was some members of the Canal Auto Club, uh, showing off a couple of their spiffed up old cars. How nice, and they were also very friendly.